Well, let's see where this goes. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Christy, Tari Creep? How is everyone doing today? You know, I want to adjust this just a little bit. A little bit more volume. More power. So, I came across... I mean, you guys know I'm a guitar player. I mean, I actually probably should have my guitar in my hand right now. Because sometimes I'll do that during videos. Um, but you know, eventually, guitars and Tari... Let's call it Guitari was going to merge at some point. Not necessarily at my hands right now. I do have plans for an Atari guitar down the line, but I've actually moved a lot of my guitar-related stuff over to my blog channels, the Creepy Crawl. So, that's always shown at the end of these videos in that little thing that pops up. So, if you want to check that out, go ahead. But, I figured, what the hell? Um, this thing was made from an Atari, and we would talk about it here, now these images were sent to me. I don't know where they originated from. Uh, this is the first I've seen of it. Uh, you know, I've seen a whole lot of like the Millennium Falcon as a guitar and stuff like the Rebel Bass, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure once this picture floats around, I'm going to get it shared to me a bajillion times on Facebook. But it was sent to me uh, privately. And uh, if you are the owner and or the builder, could be two people, could be eight people, could be one people. I don't know. Uh, let me know down in the comments below, and I will give you all due credit in a pinned post. And, of course, I will update that in the description. So, before we get into this, I got a hair. Sorry, <laughs> my beard is going up into my mouth. I don't have all the same music and everything. I don't even remember what it was I downloaded from Facebook. That real nice, soft, kind of porn kind of music. I'm going to try to find it again, but... You already know whether or not I found it. <laughs> you already know. If not, uh, I'll just download something to like and try to figure all this out now that I have a new machine and I'm doing things with new stuff. So we'll figure it out one way or the other. Okay, so let's look at the guitar itself. So here it is as a whole. And as you can see, it is a one humbucker style guitar, meaning the pickup, that thing. Um, I know you're not going to be able to see my mouse. I'm pointing at it with my mouse. The thing with the little dots on it, the, the 12 dots, that's the guitar pickup. That's Consider that like a microphone. Now, I'm going to be talking to you as if you know nothing about guitars. I'm pretty sure a good handful of you do. But let me uh, let me just uh, err on the side of caution and talk to you like you're a fucking idiot. Because more than not, we, we are all idiots, right? I know I am. I, that means you have to be, right? We're not all alone in this. That's what they keep telling me. Single volume, single tone, fixed bridge, and a bolt-on style neck. Moving on to the second picture. Here's a little bit of a close-up of the business end for your right hand, if you're righty. I mean, this guitar plays righty, so. Uh, first concern I have about it is the control layout and the cartridge slot where it is. Um, that would be kind of hard to to play I mean even if you played real low I don't know I, I mean this could just be for a wall hanger for all I know none of this is even hooked up fucking beard and until video shows of this and I will look after the fact and uh, if I find a video I will definitely link that down below but um, yeah I mean <laughs> pretty standard stuff uh, tone volume okay moving on to the next picture this picture is very interesting, okay? So it's obviously a bolt-on construction. Uh, would you have wasted a, a neck through to do something like this? I probably would have. This is where I'm going to critique the work. Now, that is in no way, shape, or form me saying that this was a terrible job or I dislike it or anything. I'm just more saying for certain things that we'll talk about in individual instances um, where I would have gone different with it. And that's only from my years of knowledge of repairing and actually building guitars. I did it for a living for a little while uh, through a factory, but I knew what I was doing anyway. So <laughs> um, I'm looking at the bridge. I'm looking at where the bridge is in comparison to the neck and everything. And I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. You know, let me see if I can't flip this this image a little bit. Let me. You know, while I'm <laughs> while I'm over here, no, it's not gonna let me do it while I'm live. Uh, it's gonna let me do everything else though. Um, oh, wait a minute, let me let me see if I can do this guitar. Here we go, here we go, transform it. Let's see if I can't. No, it's not gonna let me flip it while I'm while I'm recording. 
regardless, um, well, I was going to say is it almost looks like where the bridge is. It's kind of, oh, I got to do it backwards. The pole pieces are, or the, the saddles are kind of, they're low. It's almost like it has to come down to meet the proper. A lot of times when people are building something like this, they don't take an account, especially, and I learned this when I got into a couple cigar box guitar groups. People think just putting a stick onto a thing and putting the things with it in there, as long as everything's straight and aligned, it'll be perfect and it'll work just as it should. Whereas you have to take heights into account. I think what happened here was the neck height wasn't quite where it should have been. So it just seems like everything is a little bit lower. I'll do it this way. A little bit lower at the bridge end. Now, as far as the nut is concerned, I don't know. I, I, I mean, we'll look at the nut here in a minute, but you can't really tell anything from that image. So when you're building something like this, not only do you have to make sure everything is perfectly dead ball straight and the bridge is where it's supposed to be. Um, I'm getting a call right now, of course, from something I have no idea what it is. Um, but you also have to account for the height of the bridge in relationship with the nut and the neck. Some people go as far as the bridge height with the nut. They forget about the neck, where the neck is bolted in. Because uh, the bridge itself has some height to it. And I learned when I was repairing a bass guitar that I tried to put a new high mass bridge onto it. And that actually added a handful of millimeters of height. And that kind of screwed everything up. So I had to literally shim the neck to be... It was a mess. It was a mess. But it could play just fine. It's just from this angle. It just looks uncomfortable. I mean, on top of having the control plate where it is. I mean, it's an Atari 2600. Could you have done it different? I don't know. I don't think aesthetically it would have looked right the other way. But that would have been right for the user. I mean, the cartridge slot would be... Yeah. How cool would it be to put cartridges in here that had like distortion and phaser and delay pedals and stuff like that built in? That would be pretty rad. I don't know if that would even be possible. That was a side thought. Sorry. Moving on to, I believe there's the last question, the, the headstock and nut. Now, if you don't know what the nut is, if you look on the brown part, which is the fingerboard, there's a white or a cream straight line. That's the nut. And that's where the strings... Um, form their brake angle to go over into the tuning pegs. Um, it looks like either a plastic or a bone nut. Maybe it is a bone nut. It could be. It's a custom thing, so I don't see why it wouldn't be. And it looks like they opted for a telly, a telly uh, neck, which I wonder if it has a telly heel uh, where the neck bolts into the guitar. Uh, that would actually make a little more sense since it's a little squarer than, say, your Strat. So it would help with the wiggle room. Uh, and, and the reason I'm mentioning that is if you look at look at the very top right of the corner, there's not much of the body against the sides of the neck holding it in place from doing this. Sure, you have four bolts holding on to it. Hopefully it does. We don't have a picture of the back. At least I don't. Um, but that doesn't guarantee that there's not going to be a little of this going on. Uh, the wood could wear out as you, you know, you're jamming and, you know, it is what it is. So, I mean, there's a lot of issues with something like this. For all I know, it's a wall hanger. Um, the only other thing is where the string tree is. If you look at where the natural wood is, the headstock, there's a black doohickey there. Uh, what that's basically doing is giving you an angle to the strings. If you don't have the right angle going into the tuning pegs, the strings will be too floppy and you won't be able to play a note properly or bend properly. Uh, some guitars have a headstock that's, that's straight, but it's bent back so the strings will come up and break over it whereas this style is like this so if you were to just put strings on it it would be like that and it would be all floppy so you have to find a way to get the strings to to meet the angle of the dangle so the the heat is in perpetual motion with the, the heat of the meat and all that stuff um and the only thing i really want to talk about is where that is that's a little lower than i would expect it to be i mean not by much maybe a half an inch but again Every piece of wood is different, so maybe their break angle worked better there. It's also about your feel, too. A lot of times, adjustment on bridges and stuff like that. It's about how the guitar feels in your hands. That's why I like the guitar. It's, it's a very intimate, and don't get all weird about that. It's an intimate instrument. You, you and the guitar are one unit when you play it. I mean, everything about the guitar has to be set up for you. And whenever someone says, you know, you're going to want to get a setup on this guitar, 
it's not because the guitar isn't set up per se it's just everybody has their own feel the, the height of the strings and the nut and this and that and where the bridge is and all that stuff so overall i'm going to give this a c plus b average as a wall hanger it's an a it looks great um, there are a few construction things that i'm concerned about with this obviously there's a big piece of wood inside the body of the console there would have to be for everything here to actually attach to except for the, the the volume and tone all you need is a hole for that and they have their own little nut system uh, nut and washer system uh, but as far as the bridge is concerned without a solid anchor that thing's ripping right off as soon as you tune the strings there's just too much pressure there but i don't know uh, if you're a guitar player even if you're not let me know down in the comments what you think if you're a guitar uh tech or even a luthier let me know if anything I said uh, makes sense to you. And, you know, whatever. I think it's a cool idea. I think it's a great idea. Horrible shape system to fucking do it with. <laughs> I think a junior would be too small, though. So, I don't know. I don't know. This is the more iconic one. It could just be a wall hanger or something to pull out when you're having a few beers with your buddies or whatever. But, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the Creepers Positive. Until next time, I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a fantastic holiday. And if I don't talk to you between now and then, have a happy new year. And be safe. Be safe New Year's Eve. Please remember, I've said it a hundred times that every year that accidents don't take holidays. Okay? So please be safe. And I want to see you here on the other side of the ball drop. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.